Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Nuts Glaze. I am Nerdstalgic, and this is my Loot Crate hat. Wow! I'm sure most of you, uh, well, not maybe not most of you, but quite a few of you probably actually subscribe to Loot Crate too, so you might have this hat as well. And if you do, feel free to put it on and play some Dwarf Fortress with me. Anyways, enough of that. So, as you can see, I have a webcam now. Which, actually, it's kind of a lie because I've always had a webcam. It's just the room that I was in at my old abode was a... Well, it was a nursery that I was occupying as an office. So if I would have had a webcam in there, um, behind me in there, you would have seen... Um, you would have seen a crib. And, yeah... That would have been a bit weird. So now that I'm in a, you know, we've moved and I've got my own place now. Um, we are going to have an office set up where I can record. So it's an office slash studio. And eventually we'll be back here, we're going to have a green screen so that uh, the picture will be a little bit less obtrusive. Anyways, enough of that nonsense. So let's get started with some Dwarf Fortress. Man, it's been a really long time since I've recorded. So I'm not even really too sure what is going on right now it looks like it's may 14th um somebody created a masterpiece okay great great combat log wait anaconda oh, okay honey badger not much combat has happened really we still got i can see we still have this beautiful corpse out here that nobody has found i guess it's bugged out um Well, you know, what did we set this up for? I think we set this up for, didn't we set this up for mechanisms? Oh, this was supposed to be our trade goods, trade goods stockpile. So, it's set up right now to take from anywhere. Take from links only, take from anywhere. We want it to take from anywhere, I think. I don't know. Links only anywhere, links only anywhere. It's not filling up right now. Maybe we should set it up to take from links only. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot, shall we? So let's say take. And what do we got here? Well, we want the mechanisms. So we'll say take from here. Yeah. And then we also want it to take from... Maybe we'll say here. Yeah. And then take from, what else are we selling? Can't remember, gems, I guess. Hell, I don't know. Why don't we just start with that and see where that gets us? Maybe if it starts filling up, then we'll know that we're on the right track. Um, so we're building our archery barracks here. We don't have a door on there yet. We need to build a door. Okay, so it looks like we're already getting a door going there. We've got two archery targets currently. We're working on 10, that's good. Let's just unpause and let it go. Um, wood stockpile looks good. We've even chopped a little bit more wood. Things looking pretty good. What are you doing here? Take care of shell, okay. How's our temple coming along? Looking pretty good. Bedrooms, nine unknown bedrooms. Maybe we should make some more beds. Let's see. We could do some right here. And then one more right here. Yep. And then we could always loop around here. Probably doesn't need to be a really long road. Why don't we do something like this? And then we'll do this. Whee! 
Maybe not that much. Oh, actually, yeah, it does need to be that much. And then we'll have a road that comes down here and meets up there. Oh, wait. How are we even going to get in there? That'll give us a good amount of bedrooms. Like that. Yeah. So that would give us an additional, I don't know, first glance, six, four, 10, 12, 16 more bedrooms. Should be plenty. Can't remember what my cap is set at, but can't be too high. What do we got going on here? We're still mining this layer out. Did we find any metal? Is this Galena? It is Galena. Okay. Let's go down to the next. Oh, we're mining out there. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll hang tight on that. All right. So we're gonna see if they end up bringing out some mechanisms and such for this larger stockpile. Hopefully they will. All right. We've got some archery ranges. Did we already assign? Did we make this a barracks? We did, and we assigned it to the oily dwellers. Okay. But I don't see them in here. Oh, I see somebody, the uh, ranger, doing an individual combat drill. Okay, well, we need to make these into archery ranges, and we want to fire from we want to fire from right, from right to left. <laughs> I have to remember it's backwards on the camera. Oily dwellers, right to left. Yes, and then train. Very good. And we're gonna do this for each archery range. Which is kind of painstaking, but it is totally worth it. No, 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 no. Oily dwellers. The oily dwellers. These are going to go from left to right. So they're already set up. That's good. They're already in the right. They're, they have already assumed the position. Good stuff. So this will let us get some ranged training going. Let's see, um, let me take a look at my military squad here. We have the Oily Dwellers uh, equipment. Okay, we have a lot of leather armor. We, they all have weapons, but it looks like we need headwear, handwear, and footwear, and a few people need shields and bucklers. So let's do leather helm, tin, leather gloves, glove, Tin and leather. Was it footwear? Let's do high boots. Tin, and then we'll, we'll after that we'll see how we're looking on the bucklers. So, right. look at our locations here. Lucky bread. We're looking pretty good there. Copper mansion. We've got a good amount of uh, riding material. It looks like. We're still waiting on instruments in our temple.
the dance floor is in yellow. I don't know if that's a bad means a bad thing or a good thing. I'm, I tend to think that that means that's a bad thing. That's what I tend to believe that it's probably not what is what is needed or what is best. But I really don't know. Um. Well, our wood stockpile is full, but I don't see a lot of wood floating around out here. So maybe we should take some more wood. Take some more trees. Okay. And uh, we're still we've still got our traps going on out here. What's all this? Oh, is this from the wear? Uh, probably from the wear animal attack. Yeah. So we've got our traps going. Wonder if we've caught anything. What's this? A stray donkey. Really? Uh, not tame. Wild boar. So we did catch a wild boar. So why don't we set it up to be tamed? Very good. Why is the donkey in the trap? Hopefully it's not. Now, when are you guys gonna come out here and train? I do see uh, a few people are are having some fun. We don't have. Let me take a look here. Alerts. Could be that they're currently inactive. So we need to set them to active. There we go. Maybe now they'll all come out there. We'll see. Okay. So we have our summer migrants coming in. Oh, here they come. I think that's them. That looked like bows. Very good. Very good. So now we will start getting some training going. We could probably go ahead and dig out. I feel like we could probably dig out another barracks probably right now because we have a lot of dwarves. <laughs> we have a lot of dwarves. So, um, And we're getting a lot of people that are coming in that want to join our military. So we might as well put them to, put them to use, I guess. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, you know what? We're going to put these guys over here. We're going to put them over here just in case we we need to respond to another threat. So we'll go 10 by 10. And put a door right here. Okay, how about those bedrooms? Okay, they're getting dug out right now. Did we get to... Is anything getting moved? No. Doesn't look like anything's getting moved. Hmm. That stinks. Uh, oh! Captain of the Guard. Sir Newton. The Captain of the Guard has requirements. Needs an office, quarters, dining room, chest, cabinet, weapon rack, and armor stand. Okay. Well, we need to find a place for our Captain of the Guard uh, to occupy. So why don't we do something like this? We've got this, this is going out here anyways. Um, so let's just, let's just branch off here. And then we're gonna make a space for our captain of the guard. And then... Yeah, and then what we're gonna do is we're also going to make uh, a jail. So Captain of the Guard doesn't really require much. So let's do something like this. We'll do um, two five by five rooms, and then in the back, the Captain of the Guard will have a pretty nice bedroom. We'll get those linked up too. Have that there, like that. And then, branching off from, I'm gonna make this I think I'm going to make this the receiving area, where, like, his his throne room, basically. And then branching off from the throne room, I think we're going to set up, um, we'll set up another hallway, like this, and then we're going to do some jail cells. So we want to make our jail cells 3x3 three three as well, or should they be 5x5? Five We'll go three by three to make sure that we keep, or five by five to make sure that we keep the people in the jail 
from uh, getting too upset. We probably only need about two jail cells. In fact, I've never even had to throw anybody in jail, but that could be a factor of how long my fortresses normally go. So what we're gonna, something we're gonna need is we're gonna need some chains uh, for when people go to jail because we have to, we have to have them, we have to have a, a tether basically for them so they can't uh, just run around. Uh, oh, let me make sure on something here. Let me look at this and let's see. Auto labor. And then we'll do auto butcher start. Okay. Just making sure that auto labor and auto butcher are going, since I'm not, I'm not like being really meticulous about the job assignments for the dwarves. Looks like this baby is over here. Oh no. Okay. So somebody's holding the baby. I was gonna say this baby is over here digging. Wow. The miner of the future there. So this is getting dug out. People are definitely training. Trees getting chopped. What's this? Cage trap. Okay, nothing's in there. Nothing's in there. What about our bedrooms? Okay, they are all dug out, so let's go ahead and get some doors set up. Uh, I really don't care what kind of door, so it in planning mode. So we're going to door this thing up. Okay. Um, is that... I guess we're going to need some doors here, too. Right, we'll let them finish... Finish with the oh well you know why don't we just go ahead and put some put some beds in there too you know that would be a pretty good idea there are bedrooms after all and then after this we need to check and see how many migrants we ended up getting okay oh almost missed these down here okay. Very good. Now let's pause and look at the migrants. Uh, therapist, where are you? Dwarf therapist. Strange. Strange. We're having some problems with uh, having some problems with like things not. What if I do this? Hello? Hmm, it's still showing Dwarf Fortress. Hmm. Even though I have Dwarf Fortress minimized. I can do that. I just have to remember to check this box again. Okay, so uh, therapist here. Let's read our dwarves and see what we got. We got three. So we got a lot in the spring, 32, but that's also counting the ones that petitioned us to live here and that moved in. We got three more. Looks like we got a metal crafter. A shearer, a clothes maker, and a pump operator. What about military? No, no real military skill. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we have a hundred uh, under our roof right now. We have a hundred and twenty dwarves. So 
I'm not really sure, like I said, I'm not really sure what our cap is currently set at. I guess I can look at uh, Lazy New Pack here. Uh, 120, okay, so we are we are at our, our soft population cap. Our strict population cap is 220, and I think strict population, allow, I know that it allows for births, and I'm not sure if it's gonna allow us to take on additional visitors or not. I think it should, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so that's gonna be where we're gonna put a cut in. And in our next video, uh, we are going to uh, we're going to get our captain of the guard set up. We're going to get our jail cells set up, and maybe we might try to tinker some more with that stockpile and see if we can get that thing working. I'd like to get it working, but uh, I'm not going to waste like a ton of effort on it. It might be something that we just come back to when we're not working on anything else. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me, and until next time, game on.